In this video, we're going to be talking about the release of this new Roblox Dragon Ball game that is probably one of the best Dragon Ball Z games we've gotten this year. The name of the game is called Z Fighters Path to Power. If you didn't know, this is a remake of the Dragon Ball Final Hope game we've covered on the channel two to three years ago. The game had so much potential because the idea of it was to be a better slash updated version of Dragon Ball Z Final Stand. The reason the game didn't have the success it needed was because of bugs and lack of knowledge for scripting and things of that sort. So we tried the game out and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. It's a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. I haven't had this month much fun playing a game on Roblox in a while and this game gave me the Dragon Ball Z Final Stand vibes I was looking for so long. I've been playing this game with friends for about 24 hours and it's really just fun and addicting. So I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of the game and break down everything while also giving you guys my opinion on certain mechanics. And at the end, I'll give you guys gameplay of one of the most fun raids I've played in the game so far. Enjoy. All right. So when you're first playing the game, you'll be met with the character creator. All right. Once you go in, it's pretty simple. It's self-explanatory, right? You get to create your character, but you get five different choices on how you want to make your build with different races right i chose a saiyan for my first run as you guys see and give you info on saiyans buffs and debuffs and abilities and you can obviously customize it right uh, but info a warrior race known for their skilled hand-to-hand -hand combat ability hungry for power and strength they strove to become the strongest race in the whole universe the buffs for this class is they possess higher physical strength uh, while having a lower key damage all right so hey obviously Saiyans aren't going to be the most OP races in the game. They wanted to have uniqueness with also different races. Their ability is once you uh, once your character reaches 30% or lower HP, you can unleash your rage that besides healing you a little, also boost your physical and key damage for some seconds, which is pretty darn cool. All right, so the races have passives. Next race is Namekian. They possess one of the highest key control in the game. Their key pool is naturally higher than any other race while their vitality is lower. Uh, their abilities are, they're able to heal themselves by growing new limbs. Their ability regenerates a good chunk of both health and key. So, which is pretty cool as well. If you want to go with Namekian next, we have frost demons which is the freezer race they are using they're prone to using key based attacks giving them an advantage when it comes to key damage output but a disadvantage in physical damage all right and ability every hp lost they get back one key point which is actually kind of that's kind of op just a little bit all right kind of op for pvp wise all right especially when it comes to key uh right. next we got androids all right which is probably one of the strongest races in the game all right uh their buffs and debuffs are they have lower vitality than other races. They possess infinite key, giving them the best key control of every race. However, they can overheat if they output too much key, while overheat damage will be dealt to the android. Right, their ability is they're able to activate their cooling system that makes their heat cool down a lot faster for some time. So, hey, they can stop them from overheating themselves sometimes, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't really know how that works in game too much, but even with it explaining it, but hey, someone in the comments can explain it better. Then the final race, we got Majin, all right? They have incredible high damage output, but their transformations lack durability, making them glass cannons, all right? These creatures are capable of absorbing other players as long as they aren't too superior in terms of power. Oh, they also transform killed NPCs into candies, eating them will result in the player's stats receiving a boost equal to 30% of the NPC stats. Do you know how OP that is, bro? Especially when grinding? Bro, that is OP like crazy, all right? That is OP crazy. It's really, it's really crazy. So, yeah. All the races are pretty darn cool. All right, so here we are inside of the game. Now, as you guys see, it definitely does look like Final Stand. You can just tell, all right, by the character models, you're getting Dragon Ball Z Final Stand vibes, right? Look at that running. Come on now, all right? So yeah, we're in the central city right now. I'm level 229. I got this level within a day. Most of it was um, either grinding with friends, right? At the same time, then I got uh, kind of like carried by a, a high level person with bosses on Amic. So I was able to get a uh, very high level with two times XP. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is regular flying in the game. Earth is super big. Like there's so many different places for you to level up and grind. So pretty cool as well. You have different mechanics such as like being able to heal yourself with capsules, which I can show you if you press M. We got skills, statistics, inventory store, social and settings, emotes, Instagram all that stuff i'll break it down for you right this right here is the battle pass all right path of rewards 
you get to just by playing and leveling up you get free in-game rewards double xp and just things of that sort bro without you having to spend robux all the time all right there's different stuff i can't see where it is but it is what it is but yeah you can get double xp by playing and just other things as well you'll be able to see what i'm talking about once you play for yourself stats this is your stats i'm a uh, seeing so this is kind of how i have my stat build right now skills you get all of these right striking skills which is melee key skills all right there's a lot of them uh evasives there's a lot awokens for saiyans these are the ones i have so far i got a uh, kaioken potential at least super saiyan 2 unlocked so far but yeah one thing i do have to say i don't like is they don't tell the requirements for the forms for your race like none of them so you either have to find the trello or they're making an update where it actually tells you the requirements for them so yeah it, that's a horrible thing that i really don't like about this game so they should at least tell you the requirements for it in my opinion but yeah i unlocked my first form at level 100 you can get kaioken at level like 25 which is a cool mechanic all you have to do is just fly up all the way up in the air and it teleports you to the other world which is pretty cool right i'll show you the forms right now right bam wait how do i oh wait press g then one bam super saiyan two look at that pretty nice you know what i'm saying it's definitely pretty darn cool uh then we got ko ken bang which you can stack with regular super saiyan not super saiyan 2 right then you get potential unleashed bam which is pretty nice as well all right so yeah pretty cool they also give you different stat buffs depending on what form you have in your race which is pretty cool all right you can stack potential unleashed with uh kaioken which i didn't realize till now look at that you can see the auras of both of these this is pretty nice all right uh but yeah you get different moves i'll test it out on an npc i just gotta find one and show you guys the combat right quick bam let's see android prototype bam right mechanics are cool bang one of the moves it might seem a little bit laggy which the servers kind of are it's way more smoother on console when i was playing for me which i've been playing on recently let's see but yeah we got sonic rush look at that milky dance bam npcs can be hard to grind just a little bit you just have to know the mechanics and when to block all right and take advantage of that you get the key base moves super gala gun look at that all right it's really nice he's on strike which is super destructo disc dead in range uh, i have no key oh my key was going down i forgot i was using a form for it let me charge it up watch out buddy oh my god oh my god all right and i just got jumped so yeah it's kind of hard to to showcase moves and stuff all these dumb idiots are trying to kill me let me just go to super saiyan 2 charge up all three of y'all are on my meat gosh dang okay um but yeah there's there's a lot of stuff for this game let me show you guys final shot and attack look at that pretty clean move all right press m you can go to settings right you can turn off certain things they got aim assist field of view volume graphics level camera tilting camera auto lock on camera offset controller dead zone things of that sort all right you got store where you can buy game passes medals uh let you buy two times xp uh and other game passes as well which is pretty cool all right you buy medals to get game passes and yeah buy medals with robux or you can get them by just playing the game from the battle pass inventory this is where you get everything you can have capsules which boost your key health or your damage output which is good for bosses and grinding in general your weapons which can be the scythe or chunks of z sword all right you get titles which i don't know what they really do but hey accessories which you can get from the shop as well which are just cosmetic um but yeah that's really all socials you can invite your friends i see a few of my friends already in here grinding right got my friend right here right here as well and just yeah we're having fun grinding playing the game so i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of me playing the game like i said i just want to explain one thing i do really like this game but one thing they do have a like need to work on is like helping newer players because if you don't know how to play this game they don't have anywhere to show you like where everything is which some people might complain about some people won't but it's not really new friend friendly you know what i'm saying which definitely needs to be worked on like a lot it needs to be worked on a lot if you guys know what i mean i kind of explained that horribly but i'm sorry it is what it is at this point grinding in the game can be a bit tedious as well without double xp so you're forced to go to the hyperbolic time chamber to get some levels sometimes but you really just gotta search the map a lot for quest and yeah so that's the only really problems i have with the game 
if you don't do a boss by yourself, you're practically screwed. I'm not going to lie to you unless you're a high level. But yeah, you're practice practically screwed sometimes trying to do a boss by yourself. So I advise you to play with friends. All right. Or and if you guys want me to have a discord for this game, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, let me show you guys this game. All right, Doug, my apprentice get nap of help. Me, me, hold him still. Let's bring him over here, little Doug. I'm over here. He keeps getting in the way. Me, 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 me. Uh, what do I do in the hyperbolic time? Oh, yeah, good. Kill the dude. Because on strike. Oh, oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh, 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 uh, I gotta charge up. Oh, I went out of my phone. The other guy's helping you though. So we Hold him for first. a second long. A second long. Look at that damage, baby. Been on him. Short. I'm getting short. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done with Napa. Almost done with Vegeta. Alright, Napa's dead. Woo! He's about to get real. Let me get my... Oh, 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 help me! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Vegeta ain't dead. Almost. There we go. All right, yeah. Now, All right, now. game time. Look at that. What is he doing? My God. He's turning it to you, Kenan. Oh, wow. Wow. Woo! Mink, mink, oh, mink, 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 mink. Oh, look at him. Oh, that hurt. Damn. Oh, my God. Pretty sure we still got a good chance. Damn. Oh, buddy. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. He ate that. Find a sign. Oh, my God. All right. How are you supposed to get close to bro? You don't? Yeah. No, really not. Oh, please, not me. Mink, 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 mink. Ow! Oh, no! I might be dead. I might be. I might be dead. I might. Side is back up. Do you have any heals? Yeah, I got a sense I got. Oh, lordy lord. Oh my god. Oh. He's at oh. three thousand. Make sure to be using your pass. Oh, I got lucky. Damn. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we got another. Oh shot. wow! Can teleport right in front of his face. That's cool. Oh, boy. Come on, we got this. Oh. We got us, us, us. Right in his face. Right in his face. There we go. All right, he's half. He's half. He's half. No! Please. Please. Oh! <laughs> the boy tanking him. Okay, we almost there. We almost there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to Zenkai boost. I'm not that low yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta charge up on my health. Watch him jump up calling him. I knew it. <laughs> Zenkai! No! Oh, oh. Uh-uh. Not this. Not this. Uh, hold on, cuz. He targets. Oh, yeah, I hurt. Ooh. Hey, I out. He's low. We cannot sell this. Thousand health. Come on. Damn. Coming after calling it. I no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, healed up. I'm back in the game. Uh, Prime, Shaq, Celtic, go. All right, now. Nah, Prime, cool. Shaq, Celtic, huh? Yeah. Out of all Shaq, you could have named that with Celtic. Yeah. Oh. Wait. That was a good shot. Two beam. Oh. Here go. I gotta charge up. My V joint super late. Oh my god. We're doing the raid. And yeah. he's dead. Get some nice side shield. Mouth. Dang, D 